It's time for our next game and our next medal ceremony. It's Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Make some noise, everybody, for MLBB. One of our two mobile competitions in this tournament. And wow, it is one of the largest global esports in the world. The competition was intense indeed. In third place, representing the Middle East as the only top three team from the Middle East, it's Saudi Arabia. And in second place, representing one of the most passionate esports countries and nations in the world. They played their hearts out, grinded through the lower bracket. It's Indonesia! And in first place, after taking a defeat to the second place Indonesian squad just last year in Bali for the 14th World Esports Championship, they got their revenge, the Philippines! <laughs> Dominated through the upper bracket, played with such confidence, didn't take a defeat in the playoffs or throughout the entire competition, went undefeated in group stage as well. The Philippines played incredibly well. And to present the medals, is Diana Zong of Indonesia, IESF board member. Thank you, Diana. And a round of applause for Diana as well, everybody. We got to show some love to our board members here in the entire Indonesian Esports Federation, one of the largest federations that we have. So passionate indeed. And now, as Diana presents the medal, maybe a little bittersweet to the rivals in the Philippines, it's time for our national anthem for the Philippines. And my honor to present one of the most distinguished awards of a world esports championship possible. The winner of the most medals in the competition, the most dominant country globally in esports, your grand champion of the 15th World Esports Championship in Yash is the Philippines! And let's please welcome all players, all distinguished members of the Philippines Esports Federation to the stage. Similar to what I mentioned with Indonesia earlier, one of the most dominant esports countries and federations that we have globally, a massive following led by their president, of course, their delegate Gilbert and the rest of the Philippines squad. It's so impressive what the Philippines did across multiple titles, Tekken as well as Mobile Legends Bang Bang, a second place and first place finish for the highest overall score. The whole squad's coming on up. And let's give one more round of applause, everybody, for the Philippines. Make some noise, everybody. Your grand champion of WEC 23. And we'll, we'll stand one more time for the anthem as President Faisal here comes and gives their trophy, their reward. Prince Faisal, Vice President of IESF. Now, who will be the next country to host the World Esports Championship, James? Oh, the 16th it'll be. We're waiting for it. We want to discover it. So let's see how it's going to go down. Where are we going to next? <laughs> Saudi! The 16th World Esports Championship from IESF will be held in Saudi Arabia. And to take the flag over from Vlad is His Royal Highness Prince Faisal, President of the Saudi Arabia Esports Federation. Thank you very much. I know it's been a long day. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'd just like to thank Mayor Kirika and Vice Mayor Yoravle for everything you've done for us, the city of Yash. And I look forward to seeing you all next year in Saudi Arabia. Thank you very much to all of our guests. Thank you to everyone out there who came to see this go down. We made history for our 15th championship and we'll continue to do it throughout the rest. Yash. Go enjoy yourself one final time. You have been an incredible crowd. And we will end this by saying, we'll see you in Saudi Arabia. That's right, and just one, uh, you all deserved a round of applause. You all deserve to make some noise. And one heads up, guess what? 
We're not done yet. We have one final show for each and every single one of you to kick us off and send us.